what's up everyone i know it's been a while since i posted a video but uh two months ago some idiot uh in the jeep backed up into the supra well let's do this right there so they backed in the hood and that fender uh, my car is in the shop and i just been really busy with uh school work so for those who care i made a dean's list last semester but anyways we gotta do this review on the delta wing and how to install it um based upon my observations of what i saw uh, at the shop because uh, that shop here locally has helped uh, two people uh, put their HKS wide body kit in their Supra. So let's turn the camera around, grab something to drink, and uh, yeah, let's get into it. All right, y'all. So this is kind of unfair to a and &E shop. Uh, once again, link below in the description when you see, you know, how the surface isn't smooth. Because uh, I had to get my, my whole car repainted, so I don't know if there's some, some heat lamp or heat booth, but it kind of fucked that up. So, But in any case, if you see this area right here, you know, it's pretty smooth. Um, that's how it came uh, out of the box. So don't don't look at mine and be like, hey man, your stuff's messed up. It's just, it's what happens when your car gets hit. <laughs> Anyways, uh, if you look here, you take a look at fitment. Um, that's one thing I was worried about and I double, triple checked that before I installed it um, just to make sure that everything lined up before you drill into the hatch. Same thing here on the other side. You know, once again, I think, you know, in my opinion, Everything lines up and matches up uh, very well. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So you have your, uh, you know, your base right here. Here's your bracket and here's your wing. And one of the things I, I looked at because it didn't come with instructions was um, your bracket right here goes on the inside. So your wing and your base plate are on the outside. Uh, and with that, I forgot the... Uh, the screws, but I believe there are four long screws on uh, that come with the kit, and the rest of, of these screws and fasteners are the same size. Uh, but I'll go over that when I lift the hatch. So, like I said, there's two long screws that go on each side. The rest of them, you can just you know put it as such. But anyways, uh, no complaints about the fitment. The fitment's great. Um, the quality's good. You know, don't worry about this. The uh, the body shop messed that up. And uh, yeah, let's open the hatch, take a look at it, and uh, I'll show you guys what's up. All right, y'all, I got the hatch open, and you can see all the, uh, the holes there. It's not as bad as you think it is. Um, here you go right here. Basically, all you need is a drill and a Dremel. And like I said, once, if you do order this, you're gonna figure out what I'm talking about when it comes to the, uh, the longer fasteners. I believe it's one here and one here. And same thing, it's gonna be on the other side. Uh, one here and one here are going to be your longer fasteners, but you know, like I said, out of the, out of the kit, um, there's only two types of fasteners and there's only two long ones, so y'all can figure it out. But the one thing of note, if you see right there, there's extra material. That one's going to be a little bit uh, tougher and harder to grind through with a Dremel compared to here, it's just plastic and uh, here, it's just plastic. Um, you look here, you're not going to be able to separate this material and move it out of the way in order to have a more flush fit and not have these holes only because um, your hatch and this plastic here is bonded together in one piece. Trust me, I tried. Um, it's just not gonna work out for you, if, you know, in the long run because if you look all throughout here, you know, it's sandwiched together. Uh, and if you do take a look at any, uh, you know, other types of wings and styles, um, just a warning, underneath this area, you can remove this cover right here, and there's two electronic pieces there. I, you know, I think it's probably for your, your navigation, your satellite, you know, things of that nature, because you drill through that, there's a box here and a box here, you're gonna mess that up. But going back to this, um, what you're gonna do is, let me close this up here. Uh, the shop I went to, once we had this lined up, you know, you fix it however you wanna fix it with tape, you can hold it, um, you're gonna get a little punch, and you're gonna punch all those holes as your starter holes. You're gonna drill through the top uh, five holes, cause right, one, two, three, four, five on each side. And once you establish those holes, you're gonna come through here um, as a pilot hole. And with that, you can use a Dremel and you can open these three holes up. You don't need to do it for these two. You can go ahead and put your fasteners and uh, go through there. But once again, this one in the middle, you have uh, extra hatch material, strengthening material there. Um, it's a little bit more difficult compared to here and here, which is plastic. Um, that's it to get your base installed. You're gonna repeat that process 
on this other side once your base is installed once again boom you can do your brackets you're gonna set the wing up um, you can do this yourself uh, however it's highly recommended to have two people just to you know to verify the alignment so on and so forth uh, once again it doesn't come with instructions and i highly highly recommend you get some kind of gas, uh, gasket material to put underneath because it didn't come with any. So if you wash your car a lot or you live in an area that's going to rain a lot like the Pacific Northwest, um, it would be highly advisable to have this gasket material. You know, I probably washed my car a dozen times since then and, you know, sat outside for two months um, at the body shop. But I haven't, you know, had any uh, corrosion issues, as you can see, with water uh, seeping through. So one thing I will probably do is replace all these fasteners with uh, dress up bolts and titanium or possibly black just to, you know, have a cleaner look. Uh, but yeah, and once again, you know, the material of carbon, if you look at it from beneath, this is how it came prior to my car getting hit and going to the body shop. Um, it was nice, good, smooth finish. But once again, you know, my body shop messed it all up and I have all these deformations in the wing. So, you know, hopefully I can buff this out and re-clear coat it and make it look fresh again. All right, y'all, I hope that helps you out. If you have any questions or comments, once again, link below in the description to A90 Shop where you can get this wing. You know, I'm just doing this just to help out the community, being the first one with the wing and the guinea pig. And, um, you know, I get to give them a thumbs up. I definitely vouch for this product. I'm not sponsored. You know, they don't pay me to say this, but for those A90 owners that are interested in this wing, you know, I think it's a good alternative because what you don't know is this is a replica of the Voltex and that's a very, very expensive wing. You know, I don't see the need to uh, spend that money on the wing. Um, you know, on, at highway speeds, I haven't noticed any kind of uh, weird buffeting or the wing uh, shaking or anything crazy like that. However, you know, it's, there seems to be a trend and a fad of uh, people sitting on the wing. I would not recommend that with this wing, um, but as far as aerodynamics is concerned, you know, it's not gonna be an issue. You can hit highway speeds uh, plus if you're on track and it's not gonna be an issue. Other than that, like I said, man, just uh, drop a comment below. If you got any questions, you know, hit me up. I'll be more than happy to answer it. And uh, yeah, be good, take it easy, and I'll catch you next time. Peace.